Welcome back to another episode of Meta Design. In this episode, we're going to learn how to structure a composition or a piece, as I like to call it, and how you should look at a design, right? How you should structure it in your head, how you should split the different layers, and how the tool works. I want to familiarize with you with the tool of Photoshop. The reason we're using Photoshop is because I have almost a decade of experience with it. I've been using it for a very, very long time. I know it to, down to its nitty gritties. Um, and you know, it's something that I'm very comfortable with, but more importantly, it's the industry standard, right? Almost everyone in the industry, I know there are new tools coming in and out every day, but Photoshop has stood the test of time. It has everything you need in order to be able to create complex pieces. And at the same time, you can also do easy pieces on it, right? So. What we're going to do is we're going to familiarize ourselves with the Photoshop interface and we're going to learn how the different tools relate to each other. So before we head into the Photoshop interface, I want to show you something, right? So give me a second. So this is something I created for this video specifically. So we've got, so we've got this, these three cards that are attached to each other. So what I'm doing is I'm going to show you that every image on Photoshop or in general is composed of different layers. And here what I'm doing is I'm visually representing layers. So this is layer one, let's assume. This is layer two, you can see it below. And this is layer three, you can see it below, right? So in Photoshop, you work with different layers. What we do is we can take different tools like a marker or in Photoshop, a brush or a pencil and draw something on these layers, right? I'm just gonna draw a square. I think you can see this, right? I've drawn a small square here. And then what we can do is we can actually make or do manipulations on the layer. So you can actually select just the bit that I drew on and cut it out. Let me just cut that out quickly. So as you can see, when you cut out a layer, you can see the layer below, right? And this is the fundamental function of Photoshop, right? So if I drew something which was on this layer below, say I wrote my first letter, you'd be able to see it because I cut out of the topmost layer. So it works exactly like that. It's a bunch or a stack of cards. And what we have to do is we have to do perform particular manipulations on each layer, right? So let me take you back to the to the interface of Photoshop, right? So before you start anything, the ways you, you know, there are many ways to get Photoshop. The easiest way is to head over to Photoshop's website and just sign up for Creative Cloud. I think, uh, I don't know what it, what it costs, but it's fairly reasonable. I think it's about thousand or 2000 rupees a month. If you want to become a serious designer, then you'll have to spend on it. Uh, but yeah, what you should do the minute you fire up Photoshop is you should go to the window workspace essentials. I want you to click on window workspace and essentials. And then again, go to window workspace reset essentials, right? And the reason I ask you to do this is because I want your interface to look exactly like my interface. In many cases, you could be using Photoshop and you could have a completely different interface. And as I do my work, you might just be like, what's going on? I don't see this, right? So make sure your interface looks exactly like mine. What I tend to do is I tend to right click this and I just close this. I close the libraries. We don't need either of the two. That's just right click and close so that, you know, it, this is just a right click here, right? So just close those two. We don't need anything beyond this. Now, let me quickly explain to you the different sections of Photoshop, right? And we're going to be learning all of these. The first and most important one is the tools on the left. So you have many tools here and you can just hover over one. You can see that this is the move tool. It allows you to move things. Right? This is the selection tool and it allows you to select things. So you have many different tools and when you right click on any of the tools, you get more and similar options. So if I right click on the move tool, I get the artboard tool, which we're not going to use. If I right click on the elliptical marquee tool, which is a selection tool, it basically means elliptical selections, right? So you can just right click this and you can see you get the rectangular marquee tool. You can get the single row marquee tool, the single column marquee tool. So you can you can get more but similar options, right? So we're going to go through all of these tools a little later and we're going to see as we, you know, do different things in Photoshop, how these tools come in handy. They're not very complex. The next thing to know is that whenever you use a tool, suppose I click the brush tool, you'll see the options for the tool here, 
right, in this area. So here I can change the size of the tool. I can make it, you know, a little bigger, a little smaller. You know, I can change the mode. I can change the opacity. I can change the flow. I can change many things about the tool. So if I select maybe say the rounded rectangle tool, I get the color of the fill, right? What the insides look like, you know, whether I want a stroke on it. So you get the options for the tools here. So this is where the tool options come in. The next thing for you to know is this area called the layers area, right? I like this sec a lot because we'll be doing a lot of stuff here. And this basically allows you like, you remember from these cards, it allows you to select particular layers and do manipulations on them, right? So we'll be creating layers here. And at the very bottom here, you might see, you know, in these, this small area, it allows you to create things like layer styles, which is we, we can add some cool stuff to the layers and we can create things like masks. And we'll come to all of this in a bit. You don't need to remember any of this right now. I just want to familiarize you a little bit to the tool. These two sections that we have here, the colors and the swatches and the properties, we are not going to be using, right? We don't need to use it. And usually people customize that section to put in quick things that they use. We don't need to use it right now. I don't use it. Um, and the final thing to know is this section, which is your menus, right? So. You don't typically need to know how to use the different menus if you know how to use the tools and the layer sections and some keyboard shortcuts. But um, the menus are there in case you don't know the shortcuts. It allows you to do things like color corrections, simple manipulations, and we'll get to all of that in a bit. But at the end of the day, that's about it, right? Photoshop is a simple tool with two or three different major moving parts. And as you get familiar, you will be able to get better at the tool. Right? So catch you on the next episode where we learn the basic Photoshop drills and why it's necessary to know these drills.